हेलो यूएस इन रिसेंट इन रिसेंट डेज वी आर व्यूइंग द हेडलाइंस दैट रुपी वाज स्लाइडिंग अगेंस्ट द डॉलर एंड रुपी वाज डिप्रीशिएटिंग अगेंस्ट द डॉलर लाइक दिस बट द फैक्ट इज rupee was depreciating in this the dollar from long years but why it was making the news now is the depreciation depreciation was fast and now that's why uh, it was making news uh, coming to keeping it aside coming to the topic now which sectors of uh, of the were in which sectors i mean uh, which industries of the indian economy are going to be hit and which industries are going to benefit with this with this up sliding uh, i am going to explain now uh, firstly uh, first we have to know that in international trading the rupee acceptance is very low the acceptance the, the trading was uh, in very uh, in hard currencies like american dollar euro and uh, etc A seventy-five percentage of the international trading was done in the American dollar. So that's why, uh, in whatever may be the circumstances, mostly we have to trade dollar when we want to sell the products from our products to other countries, and when we when we have to bought uh, from when we have to bought from uh, other countries, we have to pay in dollars. Uh, and now. Uh, how the how the industries here are affected with the dollar rupee value is just for simple principle is the import oriented industries are going to be hit and the export oriented industries are are going going to be uh, profited with this rupee with with the sliding of the rupee against the dollar why is i am going to explain now why is for example uh consider a product which is which cost 10000 rupees if we want to export that product if 1 dollar is cost to 50 rupees when we want to sell it to the uh, sell it sell it to the other country we we will trade it with the dollar right if 1 dollar is cost to 50 rupees the the cost of the product in dollars is 200 200 dollars if the same if uh, if the same product 10000 rupees if if we want to sold it when 1 dollar is cost to 100 rupees then if we convert it, it just if you just convert the 10000 rupees into dollars it now 1 dollar is cost to 100 rupees means 10000 rupees will give you 100 dollars so the same product which will cost in india is with the same 10000 rupees 10000 rupees with the same in the, uh, with the, which is same but as the rupees slide double From fifty rupees to hundred rupees. For suppose, I am get telling. For suppose, if rupees slide from fifty rupees to hundred rupees, the cost of it in dollars was changed was uh of was got half. So that product will get will be expo will be appear as very less cost for other countries. So it will be sold easily. So that's why the export oriented uh, uh industry. will be benefited now why the import oriented industry will uh, uh, will will take a hit just if import oriented industry means the the raw materials the raw materials required for that industry are are imported okay why they are uh, why why they are uh, we why they are going to hit with uh, rupee was if rupee slide against the dollar is consider a raw consider the raw material Which cost out the uh, raw material unit? Which cost ten thousand rupees? Uh, for uh, if suppose one dollar is cost to fifty rupees. Sorry, consider a raw material. Uh, you know that the raw uh, that raw material, if we, as you want to import, it is it will be sold in the dollars for us. It will be sold in the dollars for us. So uh, consider a a raw material which is hundred dollars. Which which is one hundred dollars per unit. If one uh, dollar is cost to fifty rupees, the imported cost for that is hundred dollars into fifty, five thousand rupees for uh, for the industry located in India. If the if the rupees slide to hundred rupees per dollar, then 
what will be the cost of it? Hundred dollars into hundred dollars into hundred. So it will cost you ten thousand rupees. The same product which will cost you hundred dollar, but as the rupee slider has the rupee slider from fifty to hundred, uh, the cost of it was increased by two times. So uh, like that, uh, the export oriented economy, the export oriented industries that is uh, the final products are exported. The, those industries will be benefited with so rupees sliding against the dollar, and the import oriented industries, that is the raw materials which are imported for the for the production, they are going to be hit with the rupees sliding against the dollar. Then coming to the point, which are the industries with the uh, which are the industries, the names, uh, the industry names that are going to be benefited is IT industry, pharma industry, textile industry, tea industry. And the steel industry and the industries that are going to get loss is crude oil industry and the solar industry, cement industry, FMCG industry, electronics industry, and aviation industry, telecom industry, automobile industry. So I will explain you now how why these uh, why these are industries are going each in about each industry. And why these are profiting, and why these are going to, why these are make, why why these will get loss with due rupee depreciation against the dollar. First, coming to the IT industry. In IT industry, most of the trading, uh, the, most of the trading of the IT products will be done in the dollars. So that's why, uh, in for the IT companies located in India, as the trading was in dollars, they they will get benefit. And the pharma, pharma industry, uh, the raw material for the pharma industry are going to be imported from China. They, those are called as the raw material for the uh, import uh, for the making of medicines. Uh, we will call them as the APIs. Those APIs will be imported from China, but that uh, but why but why it was going to be benefited is the exports the medicine exports value. The medicine exports value by the pharma industry is very higher than the APIs that we are the API raw, the raw material API that we are going to input the raw, raw material API value that we are going to import. And they coming to the textile industry. In textile industry, the raw materials are going are raw materials for that industry are, are, are from local itself, but the, uh, the textile industry will export huge amount, will export huge volume. And the tea industry, the total products, the 16%, the 16 of the production of tea will be exported in India approximately. So that's why it is going to be, get profit. Steel, uh, same as the like tea, steel also 10 to 15% percent, percent of the production are going to be ex, uh, are going to export every year approximately. So uh, it, it is going to get profit. Now the loss making industries, first one, the crude oil. In uh, the eight, the India needs the Indian need of crude oil. Eighty-five percentage was going to be uh, are going to be consumed uh, are going to be the Indian needs of the uh, crude oil. Eighty-five percent are from imports itself. The Indian consumption of crude oil are eighty-five percent from imports itself because the the natural reserves for the crude oil in India are very less. And gas also, we are importing 50% of our gas needs. So that's why uh, the crude oil and gas industry in India are, uh, is going to take hit. And the solar, uh, solar, uh, solar electricity industry. So in solar electricity industry, the solar panel and the solar modules are, uh, for the solar panel and solar modules, we are, go, we are heavily dependent on the imports. So as uh, so, it is going to take hit with the uh, next to cement industry. In cement, uh, the raw material, the fifty to sixty percent of the cement, uh, the making cost of the cement will consist of the fuel and the transportation, uh, and also the transportation will dependent on the fuel. Uh, fuel. So that's why the as the fifty to fifty percent of the uh, cement making will uh, cement making will consist of the uh, if you uh, fuel, fuel and transportation component, the input cost for the cement making will increase. 
so it is going to be uh, take hit and the fmcg fmcg is nothing but uh, fast moving cons uh, consumer goods uh, keeping the definition as i uh, for your timing uh, to to understand what are the fmcg companies uh, for, what are the fmcg products just uh, take to the biscuit packets uh, lays bingo uh, chocolates shampoos these are uh, these and etc are co are called as the fmcg uh, the fmcg profit margin per unit is very less but the volume sold is very high so fmcg because the uh, why the fmcg is going to take hit is 50% of the raw material for the fmcg is get import uh, will dependent on the imports so that's why it is going to take hit and the electronics uh, most part most in the, the electronics the electronics industry in india is mostly dependent on, is mostly just assembling industry that is uh, the in, the different parts are uh, going to be imported then they are assembled in india so mostly the the part the different parts the input uh, the different parts that are going uh, that are going to be in that are in the electronic components are going to be imported so it was going to take uh, it was going to take hit and 60 percentage of the aviation industry uh, in the aviation industry costs costs are in the dollar because the uh, uh, the aviation turbine fuel and other is going to uh, is going to purchase in the dollars so that's why as the 60 percentage of the cost uh, the aviation industry the aviation industry has to uh, bear in the dollars so uh, uh, so it, it is going to take hit and the telecom the required hardware components for the telecom and the telecom infrastructure is in dollars so uh, i mean uh, the hardware the components requirement required for the telecom industry for the telecom communication is um, heavily imported uh, we will call them as the network gear so uh, the network gear is heavily imported uh, heavily imported so uh, the uh, this telecom industry is also taking going to take hit in the automobiles 10 to 20 percentage of the raw, uh, raw material for the automobiles uh, is going to be imported but the cars is going to export also uh, cars and other automobiles are going to be exported also so with the rupee depreciation uh, with the dollar may, maximum the automobile industry will get uh, will be neutralized the import the input cost rising and the exports uh, and the comparison with exports the, these were be neutralized for for a normal industry uh, 